In this video, I will show you how you can add this cyberpunk effect to your own photo. You can find these images in the description of the video. Alright, first thing to do here is to get rid of this background. As you can see, I already did this with the pen tool. If you don't know how to do that, I will link that video up in the screen. So let's start from this point. Make a smart object of your image. Now, if you press Ctrl N, we can make a new file and I'm going to use 160 by 2700 as the resolution size. Now, let's move this into our new file and press Ctrl T to resize this to make it fit this image. So make sure to place it somewhere in the center like that. All right, first thing to add to this is the background. And that's actually the only two images we are going to use. This image and the background. For the background, I have this image. You can find all these images in the description of the video. And the only thing I have to do with this background first is to add a blur. And for background, we always use lens blur because that's the best blur you can use for backgrounds. And let's blur this a little bit out something like this is fine, maybe even less. Right, so we can still see what's going on there. Now, this image is really not into these colors from the background, so we need to change the color from this girl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the color balance here. Make sure to press this so it only affect her layer. And let's give her some blue tones so she matches this background better. Like that, that's it. Now, let's create some new layer and press right mouse, create the clipping mask. Go to edit, fill, and fill this with 50% gray. So we have a separate layer. Change this to overlay and select the dodge tool. And with the dodge tool, we can lighten up some areas. So we first want to lighten up the edges around her, maybe even more. Let's select highlights here. And let's just brush some areas lighter because we have this light background now. So we wanna make sure these edges are lightened up. Right, so maybe also here just to get some lighter areas. Let's do here, here, here. I'm just gonna do this quickly. All right, that's way too much. Let's drop this a bit here. And let's make sure her face doesn't get too dark. So I'm also gonna do a face a bit on this side. All right, so this is the light reflections we got from the background, maybe a bit here, here. And that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna do this much. You can see the difference. Let's get a little bit lighter and I can drop this. Now let's make sure we get these nice colors from the background on her. So first of all, I'm gonna do this pinkish color like this. Just select a normal brush, general soft round brush, and make sure it's a brush. And change the blend mode here to overlay. And now we can just get these colors inside this image. So let's see, maybe don't forget to create a clipping mask here so we only affect her layer. So let's first do some Clipping masks, let's first do some here. Let's also do a clothing here. Just like that. And we have here this purple background. So we're gonna make sure this is also purple or pinkish. Let's do a bit here from that. And that's pretty much it, maybe a bit on the face here. Don't wanna do it too much, just a bit there. Right, now let's do the bluish one. I have this as a blue color. So you can just copy this if you want to. And let's make let's do this on a separate layer. So make a new layer, create a clipping mask again. Change the blend mode to overlay again, like we did on this one. And let's also give her some blue tones. So let's do some here. Let's make this gun blue here. These areas here. And also do here, maybe a bit here. I'm gonna do some more pinkish here. So we get some reflections. And the blue one again. Let's do some blue here on her head. From this background there. Right, so you can see here we get some nice tones. All right, let's now um, work on herself. So I'm going to click on this layer. Then go to filter, camera raw. And I want to get rid of this noise in her. So for the noise, we're going to go to detail and add some noise reduction. As you can see here, we got rid of all that noise, but she's way too soft now. So we need to add some sharpening to her. And let's also add some texture and clarity, right? So we can still see her better. And maybe a bit lighter, like that, like that. And that's it. Press okay. 
and you can see here she got a bit lighter now now we need to make sure this background is a bit lighter it's too dark now so i'm gonna go to the background and add the curves here and just make it lighter like that right and let's now make a new layer and let's select something light bluish let's make this big just make a dot like that right so you have this dot and if you press ctrl t you can resize it so i want to make some lighting on the background and change this to screen so let's add some light here press ctrl j to duplicate it let's also do some here maybe here let's do another one there right so we have some interesting lighting now going on all right now it's time to do some extra things to this so i'm gonna select all these layers these and let's press command or control G to group them. Press control J to duplicate them. Press control E to make it one layer. And I'm gonna add some Gaussian blur to this and blur this really out like that. Change blend mode to screen. So we have this sort of effect. No, I don't know how you call it, but it will make this image lighter, right? Let's drop it a bit like that. Now, Let's create a new layer, press command alt shift E, convert this to a smart object and let's add some blur to this. So for this I'm going to use field blur because I want to blur some areas out around her, right? So in a face we don't want any blur so I'm going to leave it at zero. Also no blur here, here, these areas probably need to stay sharp, right? So. Just make, if you hold down Alt and you put these points, you copy the settings. And we can add some blur here. So this is pretty cool when you want to blur things out. Let's also do here. Let's also do another one here. And some areas you can really blur out. So maybe here, some blur. And let's also do there. And basically I'm just placing all these points with blur and we get this cool effect that we have like more more focus on her instead of the background right so let's do some here maybe one here one not two there and let's see let's leave that at zero right so maybe one more here and that is pretty much it and now you can see we get this cool effect around with it we blurred out then press ok and that's it for the blur and now we need to get these colors right. So this looks pretty cool already, but it can be better with more colors. So what I'm going to do is going to create a new layer. Press Command Alt Shift E. So if you duplicated version, convert this to a smart object. Then go to Camera Raw. In Camera Raw, we can do the final adjustments here. So first of all, if we increase the vibrance, you can see we get these cool colors now. And maybe also some saturation to really make these colors pop. And let's play with these settings here. Let's give it some contrast. Let's see, shadows. Can make this a bit darker. Like that. And let's see, let's move on to details, a bit more sharpening. And with color mixer, we can change these colors. So we have all this blue. And here we can make sure we have enough blue in this. Let's also play with this one. All right, let's leave that at zero. Let's go to saturation. Here we can increase these colors. So maybe something like this. Right, and calibration. Let's also give it a bit of a vignette. So we have more focus on her. And then go to calibration. And here you can even make these colors more colorful if you want to. Maybe like this. This all depends on what you did with your image. You can play around with these settings if you want to. Right, so I'm going to leave it like this for now. And now if you want to add more color, you can always just work on top of them. Just create a new layer, change the blend mode to overlay and add some more colors to this. Maybe this is too much. Just add some nice little colors there, there. And you can see here, these are just final adjustments that you can do to make this look cooler. Right, so that is pretty much it. That's how to create this sort of effect for your image. 
So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.